Hello friends, KDT UXC here. My name is David and today I want to go over my Anytone 578 DMR VHF UHF radio kit um, and everything that's in here. This thing is pretty heavy. I kind of DIY'd a handle for it. However, I have everything that I need to hit repeaters locally and then go out wherever I need to and hit any repeater around and make some simplex contacts if needed. So let's get into it. I have an overhead rig here, so hopefully it'll work out well. So uh, first things first, this handle that I made, very simple, bunch of paracord. So just in case I need paracord, I have it uh, and some heavy duty carabiners. Um, I do carry a handheld radio with me, if I can get this thing off. It is the Radioddity GD88, also DMR radio. Um, great little radio, no issues with it. I like it a lot. The program software is a little finicky with it. Wish it was better, but maybe with updates it'll get better. I'll get into this in a second. Actually, might as well talk about it now. So the beauty about the um, 578 is it's a pretty high-tech radio and it has Bluetooth in it. So this is a Bluetooth receiver that allows me to pretty much ignore the screen and see everything that I need on this little screen. I can walk around my office, walk, leave the radio in my car, go outside to my camping site and hear everything, transmit, do whatever I need to. And the battery life is great and uses USB-C. Game changer. I love this little thing. Um, Right, let's just go into the radio right away and then I'll go into the accessories. In my opinion, the accessories are the exciting part. So, uh, I have a T-Way radio, uh, little telescopic VHF UHF antenna and it's actually really good. Uh, I'll, I can just set it up right here and shoot it up. Yeah, not, nothing crazy about it, however, uh, the antenna works really well. I have zero complaints about it. Um, big fan of that. I also have the signal stick antenna. This one typically goes on the uh, handheld. Uh, everything is BNC uh, compatible. Oh, my BNC got screwed on. Ugh. Goes there or goes here. Uh, no issues at all. Kind of weird and flimsy though. I'm not crazy about that. Um, so in here the the handset and the radio itself so the radio like i said is the anytone 578 it does take a little bit to boot up but once it's booted up it's super quick along with that i have the armalock cage uh link down below uh armalock pretty much i have most of my radios in those cages um the 578 is very expensive, so I figured might as well spend the additional $100, $150, get a cage for it to get it really protected, because I would hate for something like this to get destroyed from one fall. Um, and then, hopefully you can see this, um, the antenna cable is rerouted to be in the front, not from the back, and this is just another BNC adapter. This comes with the armor lock cage if you choose to pay for it. Um, so. I'll turn that off. And this pocket here uh, is my power pocket. And I just have my battery. It's a 12 volt battery uh, along with some fuses and everything has an Anderson power pole. I did have a, I'll throw it up on the screen. Uh, it's something that I 3D print and I make and I sell or I will be selling if you guys are interested in it. Uh, basically, it's a five to one Anderson Power Pole fused uh, distribution box. So if you're interested in something like that, links down in the description, or actually leave me a comment, let me know that you want it, then I'll start producing them. All right, that's it for this pocket. Next up is this rear pocket. Um, I wish that I had a dark green one, however, I just